basic plan. She, she basically, uh, on their upgrade, just ran through the basic plan on an up, on a upgrade. Yeah, because yeah, the AT&T has a couple data plans. Actually, it's $15 for sure. basic, which is 200 megabytes, which is nothing. No. Which is, unless you have it turned off all the time and only do it for emergency purposes, and then you use, like, the Wi-Fi at your house or the Wi-Fi at your job, yeah. then you're fine. But, you know, you see the people that are out looking at their Facebook all the time and it checking their it. email all the time, oh, it's going to eat it. You can't do it. I mean, you, you cannot use a basic package on, on this right. type of thing. So you're either doing the um, two gigabyte package, which is $25, or $45 for the four gigabyte package. And the four gigabyte doesn't work if you're heavy mm -hmm. either. You have to go, uh, you really have, there is no such thing as unlimited, no matter what they tell you either. So that's one of the things is pay attention to where you're getting your data. And of course, you can always check online by doing a text to see how much data you've used. I know, at, at the moment, I think I have zero data because I don't use anything but data. Well, I know, I still have to contact, you know, it's like. It just happens I, really easy. I don't use my data plan because of. Uh, oh, one other thing about. Oh, on family plans? Yeah. The data does not roll over from one cell phone to another. Yeah, uh, but uh, another neat thing about this. Although I think it should. Yeah. One of the reasons why I also don't, I'm not using my data plan is because I have, uh, I can make this cell phone a hotspot, which means we can go, we can hook up our tablets to this thing mm -hmm. and check all the important stuff because um, it sometimes is bigger to have something that, you know, that's got images in or not like that. Well, we like to have different options. One of the other tests that we ran was we have a broadband card, so we checked, um, some different pages on the lap on the on the um, tablet, and we checked this. Oh, actually, we did it the tablet, laptop, as well as the cell phone. Yeah. The cell phone took up the most data. Oh yeah. Oh. Cell phone. Cell phone went like that. Went the data off of that thing. The, and I think the the tablet didn't take up. I mean, we're talking not nearly as much. We're talking like a fraction. Was it was it yeah. like a fourth of yeah. the data? Yeah. And a because fifth the, of the tablet data? itself has a built-in thing about showing anything that basically causes it. Tablet basically all you're doing is reading words, mm -hmm. whereas this thing here will give you a hundred percent of everything. You know, but this is this is the worst. This is second. The tablet is the best because mm -hmm. if the tablet has problems. Is uh, here with this one, you can go way back, you know, on the thing. The tablet. Oh, you're not, talking about emails. The tablet will not allow you to go back beyond a certain point on an email. This one gives us the best quality, but this one basically tends to only work where we can get free Wi-Fi. <laughs> or we use the broadband card. Yeah, but uh, you no, know, but that's. Those are all our things. I mean, if you got anything else. Yeah, that's true. Else, Part of it is with the cell phone. If you um, connect off of this, you can get through the connection, yeah. um, internet, more places. Yeah. All you got to do is do. Data. Uh, you go set it up. Where you know, you go into McDonald's, set it up for McDonald's to pick up their free internet there. Or Starbucks. Or Starbucks, but uh, we, we actually put, we couldn't have businesses at McDonald's because the people were nice and they let us sit in the corner. And I think because people are amazed because we're talking about, oh yeah, we would. You know, we were interviewing Fergie a, a couple of days ago, and and uh, I was it? We said, oh yeah, we were talking about the picture about you and Colin Firth and how you've known Army Hammer since Army Hammer was a little big pot. We were and the people over there. They were. I was at Yeah, and then the, the help, the manager comes by. And he's, you know, <laughs> he's just shaking a head, and we go get ran out. So we like any place we can not get ran out, but. Um, but that's you. Know, no, you like the French fries and yeah. the sweet tea. But you have to set it up individually for every the problem with with our Y cards and our business sites or my or our homes. Basically, you basically have it set up on a thing for each one of them. But every McDonald's and every Starbucks and every Wi-Fi place is totally different. So you'd have to reset it up, recalibrate it for every place it goes. And God, I mean, that would be a little bit on the high side. That the, you know, sit there and spend all that time, okay. No, but when you go there, you just press the internet and then it asks you a couple questions. Yeah, you know, but you it's don't want to spend quick. all that time, so. Like I said, if you got anything to say about it or any questions, let us know, because we well, know that people, that it's, it, I wrote an article, 3D, either love it or hate it. It's the same thing with these things. You either love, 
Okay, first you either love a smartphone or hate a smartphone. You either love uh, Apple, you know, uh, or you hate the uh, iPhone. And on 3D, you either love 3D or hate 3D. I mean, I told we went to the hammer thing, and I'm really getting a lecture. You know, 3D is out. No one wants 3D. Nobody, everybody hates 3D. Well, except for the people that love 3D and are basically driving the 3D market, who happen to be a god awful large percentage of the people. Because it's neat. It's just a 3D is an optical illusion. It doesn't really exist. No matter what you want, they just sit there and take two two pictures and put it like this. And because of your eyes, it's just like you know you're doing like that. And you know, and my hands are not really on top of one another because if you watch carefully, one of my hands is off the side of the other. But my eyes sit there and see they're right on top of one another. They're not. There's this an illusion. One hand is here and the other hand is here, but what, when you sit there and start moving them, the eyes make it work. It's an, uh, 3D is and always has been an optical illusion. There is no such thing as 3D that you can see. If you could, everything, okay, we see in 4D, which it makes solid. 3D is uh, basically taking, you know, going, you know, say I was, this is, this would be like 3D, see? That little edge around her, and then it comes less 3D. It's an illusion. But, you know, I think we've, we've actually talked forever on this, so until next time, this is all down. And this is not as friendship. If you have questions, of course, like we said about the LG thrill, um, send it over our way because we might have tested it already. Or actually, or we might be able to go, you know, if you, we could go out and see about something. If we, if there's, okay, we don't, we've not tested in every arena. We tested, you know, we tested for field conditions, which are very difficult, but. You may have some other way that you're using it that we haven't thought of. Mm -hmm. And then we might be able to explain why it isn't working right. Mm -hmm. Because it gives us something to talk about, you know. So you probably, you know, uh, you know it, it just, until next time, this is okay. And this is not a spring chicken. We're here yesterday, today, and tomorrow for more information. You can go to www.montybubble.net on the net. And wherever you're watching, subscribe to us, follow our daily newscast in 3D. And thank you.